Yo, welcome back. It is your boy Bud, and today we have an AFL 23 update for you guys. Please excuse the background. Um, we're currently in the car, so uh, this is how dedicated we are to this news, I suppose. So make sure to drop a subscribe, a follow. I'm used to TikTok. Make sure to subscribe uh, to the channel if you haven't already. But let's jump into the AFL 23 slash 24 news. So uh, the first thing we have is it says added gameplay sliders. So let's read into this. So it says um, they've added this covers a variety of areas throughout the entire gameplay of the field. Change what you want and play how you want. Sliders are now available in Play Now, Seasons, and Career Mode. So what I'm assuming is you'll be able to pretty well just, yeah, change the speed of the game, change how marking is, spoiling, uh, smothering, tackling, all those sort of aspects of the game you'll, you'll be able to change. So, um, you know, it's, it's definitely needed. It's, it's a good addition because people will now be able to play how they want to play and probably enjoy the game a bit better as well. So um, a great addition by Big Ant there. Then we go into added quick interchange. So you can do this via the touchpad or button and it allows you to make on the flight interchanges throughout the match. So essentially, um, uh, I assume what they had in like AFL Live 2011 where you can just select the interchanges via that. Um, but yeah, if, if it is like that, that's a, that's a good addition as well. Um, I'm glad they're finally making some of these adjustments into the game. And then manual interchanges are now as well as quick interchanges, but manual interchanges are now available online. So online matches. Um, so for those that did play the game previously, you would know that you couldn't even make any changes via the interchange uh, when you played online, but now you can. So another good addition so far. If we go into the next, uh, I suppose, update, they've got an added spectate option for season and career mode. So essentially, if you're playing a season mode, I don't know what career mode is, I suppose manager mode. So you will now be able to make tactical and interchange uh, players as well while spectating. So you still can make those adjustments, but you will spectate the game. I suppose it's a cool feature, especially if you just want to, you know, go do your own thing and, and not really simulate the game. But um, yeah, a cool addition nonetheless. They've added all the official stadiums to online custom matches. So I do like that um, because you sort of just got thrown into, I suppose, just the default MCG, you know, um, the Gabo. There's only a few select stadiums that you could use, um, but now all stadiums are available for online custom matches. Remember that. Uh, and then they've added in all the 2024 new players and draftees. So the first patch that we had, or the original patch we had a few weeks ago, only brought in the first half of the draftees. Now they've got them all into the uh, 2024 teams, and they've also added up, or upgraded, sorry, the uh, the visual upgrades. So hopefully the remaining teams have now been upgraded if they've changed their hair, you know, got new tattoos, whatever the case is, they have fixed it. And then we've got some AI uh, improvements. So the AI will make better decisions when coming out of defense. They'll utilize sideways, so switches and the backward options uh, when appropriate. And they've also improved the play on after a mark, which is, um, you know, a good addition. And then they've just further tuned and tweaked the AI decision making, which is good. And then as always, improved stability, um, which you can't go wrong with. So that is today's update, the 23rd of April. Our next major update is Pro Team May 28th. So I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this bit of a breakdown. Hopefully the game is a little bit better than what it was yesterday. But uh, nonetheless, enjoy and stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.